It really does make you wonder, Paul. They really do, particularly if you're on the fence about this kind of thing. Uh, these are not typical lights you see in the sky. They're not shooting stars. They're not from any type of aircraft that we know of. Listen to what this area's top UFO guy thinks about it. You can see the houses down here, which is fascinating. UFO enthusiast Michael Lee Hill says video recently posted on YouTube that shows strange lights over Lake Erie is some of the best UFO video he's ever seen. Look at there's another one. The video was shot September 18th. In it, a number of bright lights are seen on the horizon, and they don't appear to be typical aircraft lights. One of the things that I like about this video is you can see the houses, and you can see exactly how high these things are above the houses, which also gives you a little bit of idea of how big these objects are. It's not a little light up there. These are huge balls of light. Yeah, and the commentary, there's multiple witnesses. There's at least four or five people talking there. They're all freaking out going, I've never seen anything like this. They're being invaded. Bill says the recent Lake Erie lights are very similar to mysterious lights that appeared over Phoenix in March of 1997. This sighting became one of the most talked about UFO events in decades. It's the exact same. They're showing up over uh, Phoenix, over Texas recently, um, China, um, the UK. Hill claims he's personally witnessed hundreds of UFOs. But before you write him off as a crackpot, listen to his take on the mystery plume in the sky over the Pacific this week. That looked like something military from our end. Um, I, I just, I didn't get the feel of uh, something higher. But Hill believes the latest mystery lights over Lake Erie are from a higher power, a benevolent entity that for some reason is making more frequent visits to our area. Michael Lee has uh, appeared on the History Channel and done tons of research on UFO sightings. Could these lights have been flares dropped from planes, which some say explains the Phoenix phenomenon? Well, flares fall from the sky, and these did not, as you saw. So the mystery continues. Live in the Newsplex, Paul Johnson, 19 Action News.